In today's video, I'm going to show you how I clean my favorite white running shoes. Here's a before and after picture. Stay tuned. These are Adidas. I will link down below what shoes they are because I love them. It's a lot of wear and tear if you are not cleaning your shoes the right way. So today I'm going to be showing you how I clean my white shoes. I have cleaned them maybe about like 50 times and I've had them for about two years. Um, and they're still in really good shape. You can see like no fading. Obviously they're really dirty. Um, I'm not going to lie, I covered them in mud before this YouTube video. But that's only because I know that with my cleaning technique, I will go ahead and get it out. I fill a bucket up with hot water and I submerge both shoes. And then I usually put something heavy on top so the shoes stay submerged in the hot water. I also add OxyClean. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, what OxyClean I use and I will link it down below in the description. I recommend this just for white running shoes, um, easiest to go to. So let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know if it helped. Um, let me know if you have any questions and I will go ahead and show you the step-by-step -step process. Um, I'm gonna let these soak overnight and I will get back with you guys tomorrow which will be like in five minutes for you guys. So this is basically everything you need just to clean your shoes along with a washer. Um, so I have some hot water in this bucket here. You can see it steaming. And then I use this OxyClean. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description below so you guys can just order that online or you can honestly get it anywhere. I get it at Target. First thing you're gonna do is wipe off all of this stuff, I'm just gonna go ahead and dip this rag in here. Punch it out a little bit. And just go ahead and start scrubbing it off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and scrub this off. Um, I'm gonna scrub here, here, here. I'm even gonna scrub the bottom, but I do the bottom last. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my other shoe next. Um, once I'm done with that, I will show you what's next. All right, so I got most of the stuff off this rubber part, but this is the part, the material's the part to get all the dirt off of. So what we're gonna do next is take the top off of this OxyClean. I don't have any specific amount I put in. I usually put in one of these. Since my bucket's a little bigger, it might be a little more diluted. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one and a half scoops. You can mix it around if you want, or if you want first, you can put the OxyClean in the bucket and then the water so it kind of mixes itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and drop each shoe in the water. Just submerge it, careful, because the water is actually super hot. <laughs> and then what I like to do is I just like to put something heavy on top of the shoes, that way it's submerged in the water. So usually I just take a bowl that I don't care about um, and I fill the bowl up with water and it'll just hold your shoes like that. Um, I'm gonna let these soak for actually all of overnight. So I will show you guys the result tomorrow, which will be like one minute for you guys. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the washer on cold, let them air dry and they're not gonna look like this tomorrow. All right, so you guys might be wondering what you're looking at. It is my little contraption I made. It doesn't matter how you submerge the shoes, but I just decided to put the OxyClean um, bucket on top of my shoes. And then here's some frames I haven't hung up yet. They're actually shelves. So that just is holding the OxyClean down. That is holding my shoes down. Um, so I will check on it in the morning. Well, I don't suggest sticking this in there because it looks like some of it flaked off. Um, oops. My shoes might be a little blue from it, honestly. But, trust in the process. Go ahead and throw your shoes in there. I have it on heavy duty or you could use normal. 
and I'm washing it with cold. All right, everybody, shoes are out of the washer. What do we think? They're pretty light. It looks like I never purposely smudged mud all over them just to make this video. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if it helped. Um, this seriously literally takes five minutes to do. Yeah, you have to let them soak overnight. But all you gotta do is just wipe off the excess, put it in a bucket, hot water, OxyClean, let them soak for however long you want to. And then the next morning, just take them out of the bucket, put them in the washer, and then um, let them air dry. And then it'll look like you have brand new shoes. I have been wanting to buy like more than one pair of these just because I wear them all the time. But there's no need to because I get them just as white. Like I said, I've literally done this to my shoes like 50 times. And each time it never fails. Um, I did soak them overnight. So I kind of soaked them probably for like 15 hours. Oops. I don't recommend doing this with like rubber, like rubber type shoes or leather. Um, only if it's like this type of material. Um, like I said, just best for white running shoes. So I hope this video was able to help you guys. If the video helped you guys at all, go ahead and let me know. If it did not help at all, try it again, try it again, try it again, try it again. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully I was able to help at all. Go ahead and comment down below if you had any questions and give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, um, sorry about that. But anyways, in the description, I'm going to go ahead and link the OxyClean that I used. And I will also link my running shoes and clean your damn shoes.